everyone. How are you doing today? I am Constance and thank you for joining me in the next episode of my English class or our English class as I should say or should have said. The word we're going to be dealing with today is Maleficent. Maleficent. Some persons pronounce it Maleficent but it's not Maleficent. It's Maleficent. So I did the pronunciation there for you. All right. Maleficent. That's the word we're going to be dealing with today. All right. So what is the meaning of malice Maleficent? A person addicted to speaking evil or doing harm or having a malicious intent having a malicious intent. Their intentions are very malicious, evil, wicked, cruel. All right? They are addicted to speaking only evil things. Nothing good is coming from their mouths. All right? So that is maleficent. It's a noun. All right? Maleficent is a noun because it's a person. Addicted to speaking evil or doing harm or having malicious intent. It could be used sometimes descriptives a little. Alright, so it could be used as an adjective sometimes. Alright, but it's mainly a noun. Now we're going to go through some sentences that will help you understand how to use the word maleficent. If you care to put it in your stories, in your composition at school or any class work pertaining to English that you might encounter. All right. So the first um, word, the first sentence, sorry, the first sentence we have here, the judge looks straight at the defendant and call him a maleficent demon because he set the elderly woman's house ablaze. The judge looked straight at the defendant and called him a maleficent demon because he set the elderly woman's house ablaze. Alright, so this is an example of a sentence of how we could use the word maleficent maleficent all right so this is a new word you can add to your vocabulary you don't hear it quite often but if you are a writer or you're doing any sort of research it's a word you can use to describe or express in your in your writing or your findings the man and is sorry number two the man and his maleficent wife entered the building and began swearing to kill everyone right they began swearing to kill everyone so the man and his maleficent wife entered the building and began swearing to kill everyone all right so that's a next sentence example for you. Maleficent wife. All right? His wife, both he and his wife what? Have wicked intentions, malicious intentions or intent. Swearing to kill people. All right? Number three. Unless the president starts fighting this maleficent terror hijacking the peace of the country hijacking the peace of the country he can forget about returning to office next term so here is somebody very upset about the, the terror that is going on in their country so they are saying, unless the president start fighting this maleficent, all right, this 
evil, malicious, harmful person, harmful actions. All right. So unless the president start fighting this maleficent terror, hijacking, taking over the peace of the country, he can forget about returning to office next term. All right. So this is the next way we can use the word maleficent in our sentences or sentence. Number four here, with cost of living skyrocketing each day and wages remaining stagnant, all right, they raise it, the, the wages are not going up, so they are remaining stagnant, our social economic will only be left in a maleficent state. All right, so it will be left in what a harmful state, not evil or malicious intent, but it will be left in a harmful state. Right? Arm, let's underline. Harmful state. So, this is a next example of how you could express the word maleficent in a sentence so let's read it again with a with cost of living I racketing increasing going up each day and wages remaining stagnant or dormant not moving or increasing our social economic the money that we will use to spend socially on social affairs will only be left in a maleficent state. So you cannot go out partying or where you would, places that you would patronize, you would be unable to do so. You just have to pay for the basic, like your food, light and water, and what else? Probably gas, right? Or you have to turn to wood stove, or what do you call it, coal, all right? So your social economic will only be left in a harmful way or state num or condition. <laughs> Number five, if you keep on watching those TV shows, you will become just as maleficent like their character or has their characters. All right, so you will become what? Harmful, evil, have mas malicious intent. Right, you want to speak evil. Because what? TV shows do influ influence, influ influence others, right? TV show does influence others. Music, all of that. We get some form of influence from those um, social affairs. So if you keep on watching those TV shows, you will become just as maleficent like their characters. So that's what some parent could be saying to their child. Number six, he is maleficent. He doesn't understand anything about compassion. He is maleficent. He is what? He speaks evil. He's addicted to speaking evil. Doing harm and having malicious intent. Alright, so listen to number six. He is maleficent. He doesn't understand anything about compassion, peace, or the elation one gets from helping others. Right? He is maleficent. He doesn't understand anything about compassion, peace, or the elation one gets from helping others. So this is a descriptive way someone is talking about someone. Talking about a male figure. So he's maleficent. 
He's also addicted to harm and evil and wickedness. He doesn't know the joy, elation. He doesn't know the joy or the happiness one gets from helping others. He doesn't understand compassion. He doesn't understand a peaceful atmosphere or environment. So he only knows about being maleficent, evil and wicked. All right? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you could put this, add this new word to your vocabulary. Use it in your writing. Use it in your stories. All right? Please check the description box below for my merch. Please check out, big shout out to my loyal and wonderful subscribers and viewers, LNB and Salva. They have been hanging with me no matter what. Some people come, they go, some people stay. And those are two persons I can say they, they stick around with me is Helen B and Salva. And sometimes God be vlog. I thank you so much for supporting this channel through the good and the bad and the ugly. <laughs> All right. I love you guys and so appreciate you very much. All right. My name is Constance and I thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and share and also get my new book, Orphans of a New Dawn. Orphans, orphans of a New Dawn. There are a lot of orphanages, orphans that are here in our community these days globally because they have lost their their parents for one reason or the other all right so go and check out this book about this specific family and how they are coping and who would expect who to participate to raise a child or children all right it's a good read please check it out orphans of a new dawn and it is available on amazon.com in the kim in the kindle edition it will be hard copy soon i hope all right just a little technolic technology problems going on so please get it and please be patient for the art cover to come out all right so please check it orphan of a new down new dawn by constance willem all right guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and i look forward to you joining me in my next class please smash that notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first